Hey Josh, what's up? Hey Colin, how are uh, things going with episode 3? Pretty well actually, uh, it looks like it's the best episode yet. Well that's good to hear. Have you ever received any um, constructive criticism? Well, not really, it's mostly been positive, I mean... Let me double check, hold on, I'll check on my phone. Okay. Wait. What the fuck is this? Uh, what's wrong? No, 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 it's, it's just... Oh my god. Oh my god. No! What? What's wrong? How could you, Josh? It says I can't watch this episode on my phone. Uh, Colin? But it says you did. It says, the content owner has not made this video available on mobile. Please add this to a playlist to view it later on the PC. And the content creator is you. You do realize that's just like an automated message whenever there's a copyrighted song on a video and YouTube sometimes for some reason will block it on mobile? That's not actually me personally blocking it. Oh. Well, I'll be a son of a- Triple G here in the uh, quick channel update slash rant video, I guess you could say, uh, for uh, Zombie Tag Legacies and some of the stuff I'll be talking about here in a minute. Mainly, I would say a rant video, though, and this mainly pertains to episode 3, which uh, those of you that don't know, released recently. And uh, this has to do with a lot of, I guess, feedback in a way that I received on it, more of messages and other comments that I was receiving, you know, things like that, things of that nature. So some of you probably already know is that GTA 5 is up at Tag Legacies Episode 3, and it says we upload next to it for some reason, at least for now. Reason being is because it's not the first time I was actually uploading it. There was a time before that that I was actually uploading it. And the reason I had to re-upload Episode 3 is because YouTube actually copyrighted the video for some reason. They copyrighted a track, which actually I disputed that um, it didn't really match the song it said they were copywriting, but even though I disputed it, it still it was still copyrighted for some reason. So I basically had to delete the video, and then I had to you know somehow take that track out that I thought it was being copyrighted or being used, and then I had to re-upload the entire video again. Basically, though, here's what happened. So the first time I uploaded the video and it was copyrighted, and then for some reason, I don't know if you guys know this, but every now and then when YouTube copyrights a video, sometimes it'll block it on a mobile device and you can only watch it on like an actual PC. It was other cases where it may just uh, mute the entire video's audio, it may uh, block it in certain countries, a little number of things. But usually when a video is copyrighted, like when it's a big copyrighted flag, it'll usually just block the video on mobile for some reason, which really doesn't make any sense if you ask me. But basically, when I uploaded episode 3 for the first time and it was blocked on mobile for who knows why, the internet exploded with rage. Probably not even a couple hours after it was uploaded, I was getting spammed up the ass with people throwing all this hash at me saying, why the hell is this episode blocked on my phone? I want to watch it on my phone or my iPad. This is bullshit, Josh. Why would you do such a thing? Ugh. All this shit. It was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. What the hell are you talking about? So, of course, I pulled up on mobile and I noticed that it's blocks on there for some reason. There we go. That's better. I noticed it's blocked on mobile for some reason. And so I look at it and then I notice that it says it's... You know, there's a copyright, it got flagged. So I was like, why the hell was it flagged for? I pulled it up and it said the track that, you know, was so-called being copyrighted was some other type of track that I wasn't even using. It was some, like, rap song or whatever that I've never heard of that it says I was using, which not once I used. So I disputed that and it got denied, I guess, because it was still copyrighted. So I had to delete the video and re-upload it. The point is, though, everybody thought that I was personally 
blocking episode 3 on mobile for some reason. Guys, why the hell would I do that? I mean, I, do people seriously think that I just don't want them watching it on mobile? I don't care. In fact, I want them to see it. I want them to, you know, if you want to watch like an episode on the go, then yeah, you can just get your phone and then go watch it wherever you want. I don't want to block it on there. It doesn't make any sense. And plus, it doesn't get as many views and it's a lot more difficult to watch, I guess, because you can only watch it when you're on an actual PC. Why the hell would I block it on mobile? See, whenever YouTube copyrights a video and for some reason when they block it on mobile, the same automated message comes up every single time, no matter what type of copyrighted song it is, no matter what type of use you're using it on, it doesn't matter. The exact same message comes up every single time you're trying to watch a video that's blocked on mobile. And it reads like verbatim, the content creator has not made this video available on mobile. And then it says something like, add this video to a playlist to watch it later on a PC, something like that. But that's the same message you'll see every single time, whether someone actually did block it on mobile, which makes no sense, or YouTube flagged the video and it's copyrighted, and therefore for some reason you can't watch it on mobile. And so because of this, people were flaming me, why did you block it? Because it says the content creator, and that's you. Like, that was not me, and I can't really express well enough that I would never, ever intentionally block a video, especially a Zombie Attack Legacies video, on mobile. I would just, I would never do that. But people were still flaming me because it says, you know, when you pull it up, the content creator. Okay, I wish YouTube would change that, because no matter what type of copyright it is, it's going to say the same thing. So basically, even if YouTube is being an asshole, it's saying, no, this person is doing this, this, and this. It should really just say, even if it just said, like, this video is not available by, on mobile because of a copyrighted song, or whatever, something like that. But the way they just make it look, makes it look like the uploader is at fault. Which they're not. They're actually trying to show people their videos on all the devices they can. Not just computer. Not just mobile. But across the entire board. But basically when that happens, people are just going to read the content creator has blocked this. Which is fucking stupid. I really wish that they would update their fucking website that says something other than that. That doesn't make it look like the uploader is at fault. Because, yes, in a way, they uploaded a copyrighted song. Okay, fine. But the way it says it, it's not the uploader that's blocking it on mobile. It's YouTube. There needs to be a message on there that says that, I don't know, the copyrighted system has flagged this video, therefore you can't watch it on mobile. Just something like that, something of that nature, so that it doesn't look like the uploader is being an asshole. Being like, <laughs> nobody can watch this on their phones. Block! And that's the exact thing that I was getting blamed for, which was really pissing me off. A lot of people were just outright raging so hard about this, you know, blaming me for all this crap. When, you know, I'm trying to explain to people, that's not me, that's YouTube blocking it. I would never do that, ever. So, I don't know how else to get the message across other than that, that was not me. YouTube flagged the video, therefore, because it was copyrighted, they're going to block it on mobile for the fuck knows why. And I had to delete the video, find the track they thought was copyrighted, and then re-upload the entire thing. So, it was, it was just a big mess, but I really hope that, just by at least this video, I at least get my message across to most of you that I wasn't intentionally trying to block it on mobile. It automatically does that when there's a copyrighted song on there. Okay? We got that. We got the gist of how things work on the internet. Okay. And I normally don't rant about things like this, but it was just so wide known and it was, you know, being flamed by so many people that I kind of had to, you know, get my voice out there to you guys that I would never do such a thing like that. So hopefully this will actually explain it a little bit better as opposed to me just trying to send a message to every single solitary person that was pissed off that they thought I was blocking on mobile for some reason. So in the future, 
If for some reason you can't watch it on mobile, like a Zombie Tag Legacy's video on mobile, for example, and it's saying the content creator has blocked this video on mobile, that's not actually me. That's YouTube's stupid fucking copyright system that's automatically doing that. So they really need to update what that message says and not saying the content creator has blocked this, because that's just pissing a lot of people off. It's causing so much backlash. They really need to fix it. So, once again, that was not me. If you see that ever in the future, you know, where it says something like that, just keep in mind, YouTube's being a dick. I'm not being a dick. Okay, just had to get that off my chest because it was a pretty, pr pretty big issue. So, now that that's over with, I can talk about episode 4 news. Um, we actually already written the entire script. Um, I actually wrote the entire thing when um, I had a little bit of free time. And, uh, and we went over it and everything, and it looks pretty good, so we just have to get a right time to film it. Not exactly sure when that will be, but I know that whenever I do have free time, we can usually film about one, maybe even two-thirds of it, depending on what we have to film exactly, of how much the episode we have to film. But rest assured that episode four, you know, it's pretty much laid out. We know exactly what to do. We just have to find the right time to film it and get everybody that needs to help actually uh, film it as well. So just keep an eye for that. Episode 4 is definitely on its way. Um, I'll try to give you guys a release date as soon as I can. Uh, my guess is right now, we haven't exactly filmed yet, so it's pretty tough to say when I can get it done, but maybe late August, early September, that's just a guess right now. Don't think of that set in stone. That may change, but that's my guess as of right now. As far as other videos go, for besides on my tag legacies, on other videos I plan to make, I'm definitely Destiny. Uh, hang on a second. Can't talk to me. I just got off like a 14 hour shift, so I'm totally out of it. Because uh, I had realized that, oh man, people were flaming me, now i got to work this super long shift and try to make this video to explain to people that it's not actually me, yada yada. Oh man. What a crazy last week this has been. Anyway, totally off topic here. But I'll definitely be doing videos of Destiny when it comes out next month. You guys have probably already seen me doing videos of the Destiny beta. I've got a few more of those to upload, so definitely keep an eye out. A lot of them are hilarious. So definitely recommend you check those out. Really excited to upload those because some of them I cannot stop laughing and I think you guys will really enjoy them. And after that, um, damn, there are a shit ton of games coming out in October. I can't even name them all off the top of my head because I am half awake right now. But I'm sure, sure there are a lot of them I'm going to be doing. Just for the sake of giving you an idea, I'll just try to name off a couple. There's Shadow of Mordor, Assassin's Creed, Dragon Age Inquisition, I, yeah, Dragon Age Inquisition, I thought that comes out later, but that comes out in October. Pretty sure it does. Pretty sure they haven't delayed that. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Dragon Age Inquisition still comes out in October. Hopefully. Because I'm sick and tired of games being delayed until 2015. Like Batman Arkham Knight, man, I was so excited for that game, and when they pushed it to 2015, I was like, fuck. So you can't really be upset about game delays, but at the same time it's hard not to be. Because you know by delaying the game they're making it better, but you still have to wait a lot longer to play it. Which, you know, whatever. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be uploading some Destiny videos, uh, Shadow of Mordor, Assassin's Creed, Dragon Age Inquisition, of course Zombie Tag Legacies, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff. I'll keep you guys updated as it comes. But, you know, that's just the gist of what things are going to be coming up. I might want to get the uh, Zombie Attack Legacies updates video, you know, out of the way so you guys know, uh, you know what exactly happened with episode 3 and the deal with episode 4 and etc. But um, we pretty much know exactly what's happening in Legacies. We're playing the entire thing out, and I'm very excited what I'm going to be able to do with it, and I hope you guys will be very excited for it as well. Definitely a big shout out to all the voice actors that have been helping me out. Seriously, they've all been doing a really good job. Especially, guys, give a big shout out to Colin because, you know, he's worked really hard on it. He's provided, you know, all this work on this series, all this production, all this voice acting work. You know, definitely give him some props. He's worked really hard. You know, I personally can't thank him enough for it, but definitely uh, give your thanks to him. I also want to give a uh, big thanks to, uh, please don't kill me for saying this incorrectly, but 
TV Aria Sailor Piece? TV Aria Sailor Piece? Her name will be on the video. Okay. So definitely a big shout out to her because she's doing, doing a really great job voicing Maya and stuff. So big props to her. Big props to everybody else that's been helping me out. You know, we've got Vino and Octavia who's been uh, helping me get some other shots for the episode in. So a big shout out to him. You know, overall, everybody that's been working on it has been working really hard to make sure that they can make it the best series as possible. Everybody's been doing a great job, and I can't thank all of them enough. So, and especially you guys. You guys are the reason that Legacy exists. Work for you, it wouldn't even exist. So thank you all so much for your feedback. Really, it's been super, super positive. It looks like from the feedback we've gotten that this is easily the best series we've uploaded. People like this a hundred times more than any other zombie attack series we've made. So thank you guys so much for the feedback. And as long as you guys keep watching, we'll keep making them. And as always, guys, be sure to subscribe.